Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that each of the cables can sustain a maximum tension of 5000 pound. If the uniform beam has a weight of 5000 pound, determine the shortest uh, time possible to lift the beam with a speed of 10 feet per second starting from rest. So now since the tension in the cables is given and that is the 5000 pounds, so if we uh, draw the free body diagram, so the tension in the cables is 5000 pound, that is 5000 and this is also 5000. And let's see that this is our coordinate system, this is our positive x and this is our positive y axis. So let's say that the tension in the cable is making some angle theta here and this angle. Both of these angles will remain the same since uh, this hook is at the midpoint of the beam. So this theta will remain the same. So now first of all we can find the length of this cable AC. So the length of this cable uh, by Pythagoras theorem we can find so that will be this height square is 4 square plus 3 square under the square root. So AC length of the cable or uh, that will be equal to the, the AB length of the cable so that will be equal to 3 square plus 4 square under the square root and this gives us 5 this is 5 feet. So now we can draw a triangle this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 and this theta will be this theta in this triangle. So now at hook if we apply the summation of forces along y for this free body diagram. So that will be equal to 0 since we are considering that uh, the beam is moving with a uniform velocity. Uh, we are assuming that for, for a short period of time the system remains in equilibrium. So if the system remains in equilibrium the summation of forces at point A in the y direction will be equal to 0. So as we can see that this P is acting in the positive y direction so I will write plus P and that will be the maximum P. Since the tension, the maximum tension in the cable is 5000 pounds so we are using that value so that P will be the maximum P required. So this P max will be equal to uh, this component of this tension and then this component. We have two same components of that 500 pound tension in the cables. So this will be minus 5000 or we can say that 2 times 5000 cos of theta. So this is the cos component of this 5000 pound and this is the cos component of this 5000 pound and from this triangle we can say that cos of theta is this base divided by hypotenuse which is 4 divided by 5. So cos of theta is 4 divided by 5 we can write it like this and this will be equal to 0 and if I bring this term to the other side of equation so we will have the equation like this so this will be our P max so that is 2 into 5000 into 4 divided by 5 this gives us P max equals to 8000 pounds so P max is equal to 8000 pounds if the tension in each cable having a maximum value of 5000 pounds. Now in the problem statement we are required to determine uh, the shortest possible time. So to find the time uh, we have to apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum. So the principle of Im impulse and momentum says that the initial momentum of the system plus the summation of all the impulses due to the external forces on the system will be equal to the final momentum of the system. Now it is said that the initial velocity of the beam of the system is 0 starting from rest. So V1 is 0, so this will become 0 and then the summation of the impulses due to the external forces. So one of the external forces is this P max which is 8000 pounds and the weight of the beam is acting in the downward direction that is 5000 pounds. So now the impulse due to this 8000 pounds, so we will write that that 8000 TT and this is from 0 to T plus uh, from 0 to T and the impulse due to this the weight of the beam that is 5000 
into dt and the mass the weight of the beam is 5000 so 5000 divided by g value which is 32.2 into v2 so the velocity that we want to achieve is 10 feet per second so that is v2 so now if if we look into this equation so this is a vector equation and is we are considering that this is a positive direction so then this 5000 is acting in the negative y direction since the impulse is a vector quantity so we have to write it as minus right so this is minus 5000 so now when we integrate this this 8000 is constant we can write it outside of the integration this will be 8000 and dt so this will give us 8000 and the integration of dt is t and this is from 0 to t and if we put these limits so that will be t minus 0 so t minus 0 is t and that t into 8000 is 8000 t and similarly this if we can write this minus 5000 outside of integration so that is minus 5000 and the integration of dt uh, from 0 to t is t and this is 5000 this is 5000 into 10 is 50000 this is 50000 divided by 32.2 we can take this t common so this is t we want to find this t so that is 50000 and this 8000 minus 5000 this is 3000 this is 3000 and this is 50000 this is 32.2 now if, if I divide both sides of equation by 3000 this is t so 50,000 divided by 32.2 into 3000 so this is 50,000 divided by 32.2 into 3000 so this is 0 0.518 seconds 0. 518 second so this is that time t the shortest time possible to lift the beam with a speed of 10 feet per second starting from rest so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet